guys, welcome to another video. We're currently approaching three weeks of spring break shred and I feel better than ever. These next few days, I'm actually really busy, so you know what that means? It's time to meal prep. I'm gonna be showing you guys a very quick, easy, and delicious way to meal prep during your diet so that you guys can eat delicious meals while saving time and losing weight. As you guys know, I'm a religious intermittent faster, but I'm gonna be breaking down this meal prep to where there's a breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a dessert. Let's get straight to it. So I'm currently cooking for three days, but if you guys choose to cook for more days, just multiply whatever I'm cooking by however many days you choose. For the first meal for breakfast, we're gonna be cooking an egg and cheese quesadilla. So all you guys are gonna need per quesadilla are two eggs, a cup of fat-free cheese, and two carb counter tortillas. You can find this in any local grocery store. I know they have them for sure at Walmart. They're 50 calorie tortillas with about 12 grams of fiber, so you're definitely gonna be pooping a lot. All right, so real quickly, we're gonna weigh out our cheese, and I'm gonna be using mozzarella and mild cheddar, and I recommend you guys to get fat-free. Get reduced fat if you guys can't find fat-free, but fat-free is the best way to go because it's low calories and you get a lot of protein. So we're gonna weigh this out for one whole cup per quesadilla, which is 112 grams. Bam, 112, let's get to cooking. All right, so I like to heat up my two tortillas first. Gonna spray. Just to make it fast, I'm gonna heat up two at once. Put this tortilla aside. We're gonna make the eggs now. And while these eggs are cooking, I'm gonna start heating up the cheese over here. So this is where you guys can either make one giant tortilla or two separate tortillas. And I personally, I like making two separate tortillas because it's easier to cut. All right, so that's one right there. So I'm just gonna cut them up and then throw them in the meal prep container. I like to cut them into threes. This is a great way to start off your day with an egg and cheese quesadilla. All right, so we have breakfast or the first meal of the day right here. All right, guys, so we're gonna cook the next two meals and they're actually the same. We're just gonna swap the meat sources. We're gonna use eight ounces of pork chops for one meal and then eight ounces of chicken tenderloins for one meal. Both of the meals are very delicious and using two separate meats help you add diversity to the meals during the day. So with the meat sources, we're gonna be eating a total of about 600 grams or four servings of russet potatoes and four cups of broccoli florets. And the best part about buying them frozen is they're actually pre-weighed I'm just gonna throw them in the microwave and that way you can just split it in half between the two meals and then two servings or 170 grams of baby spinach I'm gonna skip the weighing process and go straight to cooking but remember that all the measurements will be in the description box down below if you guys ever get confused with any of these quick pro tip if you guys actually slice up your meats it's easier to weigh and it's also easier to cook because it cooks a lot faster just to save time I'm gonna be cooking the chicken in here and then the pork in here so we can cook both meals at one time throw them on the pan I forgot to season them beforehand, so I'm gonna season them right now. I use lemon pepper and cayenne pepper, but you guys can choose whatever seasonings you want. This chicken, just put it right over here. Hey, there's just two pieces of lonely chicken, just like me and Zorn. Pork I'm gonna put over here. So the reason why I choose frozen vegetables is you just throw them in the microwave, microwave them for six minutes, and then you're good to go. And just like that. So this is two servings or 170 grams of spinach right here. It's obviously a lot of volume and the best way to condense these so it can fit in the container right is to fry them. And I actually like the taste of that better. They'll eventually really condense up. So now we're gonna add the spinach. Just like that. But how I usually like to cook potatoes is I slice them up and then I'll throw them in the microwave for about six to seven minutes and then throw them on the pan. They're like fried potato rounds. And of course you can oven them if you choose to, but I find this way the most practical for me. I actually enjoy the taste of it. Also, if you guys don't like eating potatoes for two meals, then you guys can just swap one with rice. They'll relatively be the same macros as long as you weigh it right. And now lastly, we're gonna add the potato rounds. All right guys, we have two meals right there, lunch and dinner, whichever one you choose. For the last meal or dessert, it's gonna be a protein peanut butter oatmeal. And I know you guys are gonna be like, blah, oatmeal. But honestly, if you guys get the right protein, it's gonna taste delicious. I personally use salted caramel flavor for my protein. It's very cheap and it's actually really delicious. We're gonna weigh out 60 grams of oatmeal. I'm gonna add some water, microwave it, and then we're gonna add the peanut butter and salted caramel protein. We're gonna weigh out one scoop of protein, which is 25 grams for my protein, and then we're gonna weigh out one serving or 32 grams of peanut butter. And if it gets thick like this, make sure you add a little bit of water. That's the consistency you want. It's extremely delicious. You All right, guys, so this is three days worth of meals right here. We have four meals per day, quesadillas in the morning. We got some chicken and pork for lunch and dinner, and then we got protein oatmeal as a dessert. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.
this ain't no way we break the code keep your pockets like the tropics don't let rocks disrupt your flow we was outside with no options all we knew was getting